What's happening people and back again with another educational topic, right? So I mean, let me hatch up some truth. All right, right now the topic is about how many spoken languages in the United Kingdom. All right, so maybe, all right guys, you might say, oh, why are you saying this? Uh, why are you saying this is actually very simple and it might be funny or anything like that. But look, yeah, I've seen a lot of my friends don't even know this. All right, guys, so how many languages, how many spoken languages are in the UK? All right, so the UK, first, the UK or the U, uh, United Kingdom made up from Eng uh, of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. All right, so in England, people speak English. Of course, the majority speak English, um, but also you have Cornish, the Cornish language. Uh, where is Cornish? Where, where it's been spoken? Uh, mostly spoken in Cornwall, right? If you don't know where Cornwall is, just Google it, go on the map and you understand that. All right. So in Scotland, people speak Scottish and English, right? In Wales, people speak Welsh and English. In Northern Ireland, people speak Irish and English. Your Irish is a form of Gaelic and also uh, let me say that again, in Scotland, uh, when people speak Scottish, it's a form of Gaelic, right? Uh, I think in Scotland, we're about maybe two million or million and a half, one million and a half uh, people, population that speak the Scottish language, right? So you should understand that, yeah? Do not confuse the United Kingdom with British overseas territories, right? So the United Kingdom is... Uh, that, that's the makeup of the United Kingdom is made up from these four countries, right? So uh, England, Scotland, United uh, United Kingdom, you have Northern Ireland and Wales, or Wales and Northern Ireland. And do not confuse Northern Ireland with Republic of Ireland, right? Because I know, yes, uh, people might say, oh, all right, so I know uh, Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, they used to be one country a long time ago, but after the split, you have Northern Ireland join the UK. This is why uh, a lot of people like that, you know what I mean? In your British passport, they call it uh, Great Britain and Northern Ireland. You know what I mean? Great Britain or Great Britain and Northern Ireland, that's what you see. All right, so so you guys, uh, I know uh, you guys overseas, uh, you lot in America, Africa, and other people uh, and in Europe, you need to understand. So sometimes people might, may not know about the languages. But also, one thing to point out as well, you have the, the Scottish, they have their own uh, currency, they have their own money. Uh, so so do the, the, the Irish people, or Northern Ireland, I think they've got their own their own money. Uh, I think so, I, I'm not I'm not really sure, but I think, I think so. so. You're gonna have to Google it, guys. So, also, when it comes to, when it comes to the English Parliament, or the British Parliament, of course, English, uh, uh, is widely spoken in in the Parliament English, so I think solely. But in the Scottish Parliament, people speak English and Scottish, right? So they have got a uh, form of two languages, right? Uh, well, uh, Wales also the same thing because if you look on uh, Wales as well, the, the the Welsh Assembly people speak Welsh and English. Also in the streets, when you go when you go to Wales in the streets, you know the, see the street signs marks. You know what I mean? Uh, road names everything has form of two languages you have welsh and english so i think in northern ireland but i'm not sure about scotland you let me know guys in the comment box, box below because i've never been there yeah so uh languages is always there so it's always there but you can look it up i don't know i, I love me a bit of you know i love me a bit of cornish i love me a bit of welsh i love me a bit of scottish i love me a bit of irish do you know what i mean so i'd love to learn all of those, you know, I'd love to learn uh, learn all of those. Cause sometimes when I go to Wales and the street uh, street signs and everything like that, I don't really understand apart from really in English. Do you know what I mean? So yes, guys, I think that's what I've got to point out. You lot in America and uh, part of the world and Europe understand this. So it is like this. So if if you ask me about the Cornish, the Cornish it was before English. It was a long time ago, and but people, there are a lot of people still speak it, speak it today. All right, so guys, 
with that being said, I think that's that's the only things that I need to clarify out now. And listen, with that being said, folks, peace and love, family.